Performance, economy, and rugged dependability. That's what my seven foot six inch trout and salmon rods are all about. To get yours, go to the Fish Hunt Shoot Productions store at fishhuntshootproductions.com. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. Well, I just lost a fish on a uh, threaded worm, so I'm gonna thread up another worm. I've caught a few fish in this worm and he is not looking very good. Um, but I don't wanna talk about worms right now. I'm a buddy Ricky24 down in the East Bay. We've been chatting on the phone and we just been sharing, you know, fishing stories from our families, you know, going back decades. And uh, he loves my stories and I love his stories. And he told me the other day, he's all, Cal, you should put some of those stories, you know, put them on video and share them with the, with the viewers on the channel. I think they'd enjoy them. And uh, I'm like, really? And he's all, dude, you're a, you're a pretty good storyteller. He's all, I think they'd enjoy them. So let's start off with a story, you know, got a lot of fishing stories some are exciting some are funny some are kind of sad um, but this is a funny one this this has to do with my my dad and my uncle Ooh, there's a nice worm that's a nice big crawler right there this has to do with my dad and my uncle and this is back in the in the in the early 70s probably 72 73 I'm just a little kid at the time right so in the East Bay we lived in the East Bay um, grew up there so, striper fishing was a big deal back then. And for all you guys that are young that have gotten on some good striper bites, multiply the best striper bite you've ever seen by 10, and you kind of get an idea of what the fishing was like. And I mean, it was totally local for people in the East Bay. It was, you know, Alameda, um, San Leandro Bay was, was outstanding, right there behind the Oakland Coliseum. Um, down there, there's some fancy houses there now, but the Alameda dump used to set not too far from the, uh, uh, from San Leandro Bay. And uh, it's all fancy houses now, but back when I was a kid, it was just a dump, just a big landfill, kind of anything goes. <laughs> um, no environmental regulations, just big piles of garbage, rats, seagulls, bulldozers, the whole, the whole deal, so. That was more of a uh, of a night fishing spot for us, but we would fish the um, the Bay Farm Island Bridge at any time. And I, I wasn't fishing; I was a little guy, but I would get to go with my dad and my uncle and uh, fish the Bay Farm Island Bridge and you know catch big stripers up to 20 pounds while plugging from the bank. And they really only used three lures: they used hair razors, they used cordell spots like rattle trap. And they use Rebel Minnows. And the Rebel Minnow was hands down the favorite bait overall. Um, although my dad was a hair razor guy. He liked hair razors. And most folks use white hair razors. My dad, he liked to run the black ones. And he did very well on those. But most guys, they, they'd like the, the silver and blue, silver and black, macro pattern um, Rebel Minnows. So... Anyway, kind of need to picture my dad and my uncle at, at this time. Um, my dad, my dad was a 50s leather jacket, you know, tough guy. And uh, so he's, he's 37 years old in the early 70s. And uh, he's running construction crews. And my dad, he's an interesting character, man. He, he grew up, you know, with the, with the thugs in, in East Oakland and all that back in the 50s. But, uh, you know, he got into construction. And all of a sudden, he's running multi-million dollar projects, and he's got Hells Angels on his crews, all kinds of diverse people. But in his, in his card file, you know, he can pick up, he can call the mayor of Alameda. Um, he can call the mayor of Oakland. And he deals with these guys. So it's just kind of a weird nexus of people that I got exposed to, and all because of my dad's, you know, job, kind of being a leader in the construction industry in the East Bay in the 70s and, and 80s and stuff like that. But anyway, at this time, it's the 70s. My dad's 30 some years old, 34, 35. And uh, he's a superintendent, but he still works with his tools. And he's, a, he's about five foot 10, five foot nine. He's just a, he just a tough little dude. Um, now he's all crippled up, bad back and the whole deal. But back then he was, he was pretty spry, pretty limber. Um, and he was also very neat. He was neat with his tools, neat with his fishing tackle, neat with his hunting equipment. He's very neat. Now, my Uncle Bob, my, and my dad at this time, my dad, he's probably wearing a white t-shirt, cigarettes up in the arm, crew cut, uh, big mustache, 
total 70s kind of tough construction dude so and they're working on in Alameda at this at this time they're working on the old um, Alameda Naval Air Station part of it's been converted to low-cost housing and that's what they're working on so my uncle Bob my uncle Bob he was he was in Nam 65 and 66 so he's a Vietnam vet um, he's got the big giant mutton chop sideburns at, at this time just to kind of paint the picture now unlike my dad who's very neat my uncle he's he's sloppy his tools are sloppy fish and tackle sloppy everything's sloppy but he's a single guy you know he worked in union construction so he got plenty of money so he'll go to the the big store there was called AGE and uh, and you guys that grew up down there at that time down in East Bay you know what AGE was it's a it's kind of like a Home Depot that sold everything, including guns and fishing tackle. So, anywho, so he would pop into AGE whenever he got the itch, and he would buy some more Rebel minnows. And, uh, you know, he's not storing them properly. He's got a big clump of tackle in the middle of the bench seat of his truck, 68 Dodge. Um, kind of a sickly green colored truck step side. He's got this big pile of tackle there. So, one day my dad comes home from work and uh, he's missing an oblong stretch of his pants, right? You know, right right at where the bottom of his, his butt cheek would be. And he, you can tell he's not happy. <laughs> so, long story short, I brought this up to my dad just the other day and he's... He's still pissed off about this, which is hilarious to me. I mean, there's a lot of water under the bridge since 1973, but he's, he hasn't forgot. He's like an elephant. He don't forget. He's still pissed off. So long story short, everybody on the job decides they're going out for lunch one day. So my uncle's like, just ride with me. So my dad hops up into the truck. And the next thing you know, he buries all three hooks from a rebel minnow right in his backside, right through his pants. But, uh, you know, no fear. He's on a construction site. All these guys, they're, they're self-starters. They can fix anything. So they're like, well, we'll just pop the hooks through and cut them off. Okay, pull your pants down. I can't pull my pants down. My Levi's are essentially stapled to my ass with this lure. <laughs> So one of the guys gets the idea, well, we'll cut the pants away, pull his pants down, and then we can actually see what's going on and go to work. So they do that. They cut the pants out, get his pants down, pull the hooks through. He must have been just overjoyed with this. Pull the hooks through, clip the ends off, and then get the, get the hooks out. Of course, on a construction site, they got a big giant first aid kit. So I'm sure they sanitized it and and all that afterwards and off they went to lunch but uh just the image of my 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 tough guy dad with his pants stapled to his ass with a rebel minnow when he wasn't even going fishing he was just trying to go to lunch is uh is pretty funny <laughs> anyway um not to my dad though he's he's still mad enough to sock somebody over that <laughs> anyways so that's my funny fishing story for today that is the day that my uncle hooked my dad in the ass on a rebel minnow inside a pickup truck so anywho and there's a lesson in this put those plugs away those hooks are dangerous and don't sit on them if you get into a truck and there's a big pile of rebel minnows on the seat i suggest you move them out of the way that's my tip for the day anyway i'm kel kellogg i hope you enjoyed that story um i got a bunch of funny fishing stories like that and periodically i'll i'll tell one on video and we'll throw it up on the channel if it's your cup of tea you know, listen to the end. If it's not, click on to something else. But uh, I like my stories. I think I'm a pretty good storyteller. So when you hear one of these stories coming up, grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and uh, get ready to laugh because I got some good ones. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that subscribe icon down there. And if you're looking for trout gear, you know where to go. Fishhuntshoot.com. Check out store. I got striper stuff and halibut stuff and stuff like that too. Check it out. Great gear, great prices, stuff that performs on the water. I'm Kel Kellogg. You be good, have a great day, and I will see you soon right here on YouTube.